Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is... Such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. 
Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. Um, snow globes are taking over. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. I'm too kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, y y with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. 
Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Glad to see you're as nosy as ever. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. There's the old Chloe. Ah, oh, here's the DVD. I can't believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe.
definitely have to take a third job. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay? Or is it? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... But we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. <sighs> Joyce. 
Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... she... Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but... Nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the Two Whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Plus... You guys have to work, too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I never heard much about William's brother.
shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boot. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same, just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. 
I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I'll just drift to sleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong, even if you feel like I wasn't there for you, because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back, always.
Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. It's amazing how innocent our drawings were compared to what we're doing now. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Looks like David finished his car repairs. 
Maybe there's some new clues around. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe... There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Should I have signed the petition? Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, whatcha hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me, just one picture, please. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. I wonder if David is going to the party. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. It's amazing how much- Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. 
but imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just... Pray I can get this drawing right. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us.
Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot floor teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. One photo, for posterity. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, 